Hello, my name is Santi Arabelcher and you're watching Santi BM TI-84 Plus Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be upgrading the operating system on your TI-84 device so it can support MathPrint if it doesn't already do so. If you haven't checked already, go ahead and look at the video over here to see if your calculator has MathPrint or not. Alright, let's begin. In the description below there is a link directly to this website, TI Technology Education, here in the Software OS Updates and Apps page. You can see a link from downloaded items. TI-84 Plus Family Operating System is the one that you'll need. But before, we need to download TI Connect for Windows if you're on a Windows computer or for Mac if you're on Macintosh. Just go ahead and click the link and that will automatically download that file for you. Well, I already have it here. On a Windows, you follow a similar process. Just double click the file once you open it and we'll walk through the installation wizard. Once you follow all those steps, just hit install. Since this application requires me to log out once it's installed, I'll be right back with the next set of instructions. Alright, now that I'm back, now I have my TI Connect software installed on my computer. All I have to do is open it, and I want to now plug in my device so I can access it through my TI Device Explorer. So all you need now is to connect a regular USB to micro USB cable to your calculator on one end and then the other end to your computer. These cables come with your device already, although if you lost it, you can use any USB to micro USB cable. They're found in cell phones, Blackberries, cameras. They're pretty easy to find nowadays. And don't forget to turn on your device. Once it's on, we will go back to Device Explorer and double click. He'll search for your device. As you can see pretty quickly, it found it. It says TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. You can check the it is, in fact, a TI-84+. Plus. In my case, I already have version 2.55, but I'll go ahead and do the update to the same thing in case you have an older version. So we'll go ahead and close out of this and go to the TI Software Update. Okay, now that we're at the TI Software Update, our calculator should automatically show up on this menu section. It will take a minute or two to load. You can see it from here on the status bar or this little loading symbol. But once it finishes, you can see all the applications and things that need updating on your calculator. In my case, because I already have the latest version, 2.55 MP, then it's not going to give me that option of updating. Only my apps need updating. But when you plug in your calculator with a lower version that's not 2.55 uh, MP or just 2.55, you will see in addition to all your apps, you can find your TI-84 OS software 2.55 loaded on the same screen. And all you would have to do is just check it and hit update in the top corner. You would accept the license agreement. Make sure you read it, accept it, disagree, however you want. In order to get the software installed, you obviously do have to agree. It will automatically download it to your computer and then store it on your calculator, updating the software. Please be advised that updating the OS software on your calculator will delete all data on your programs and apps folder that are not there by default. So while your apps will be safe, all your other storage, your variables, your programs that you wrote yourself or downloaded off the computer will be erased. So it is encouraged that you make a backup of this information through this exact same software. So now, for example, it just shows that I updated my software right here, my TICBL software app. In your case, it would show that you just updated your OS software. A quick way to check once again to see if you have it. It's just going over here and see view device information in your device explorer and then you would see iOS, I mean OS version 2.55. Now you can always go back to the previous video if you find that once you installed an OS with math print and you still don't have math print enabled then that will show you how to get that taken care of as well. I'll put it over here in this upper left corner for you to click it and I'll also leave it in the description below. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Windows users, if you find that this is too different on your system, 
then please let me know and I can make a video as well for Windows to kind of guide you step by step. And I'll add that very shortly after I get any messages telling me to do so. All right, well, once again, my name is Santiago Beltran. You're watching SantiVM. Please rate, comment, and as always, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.